Okay, what is this? What are we doing? I'm uh, coaching a man. He's a gunman. And he carries a knife. And for the past two years, he's accessed me as his knife coach. He saw me and, you know, other modern agonistics guys stick fighting and using wooden blunts for knife fighting and doing machete duels uh, at a school where he used to train and he carries a knife as a backup for his two firearms oh. and uh, he's uh, last year and the year before, before I got crippled, uh, he was quite disappointed in the fact that I butchered him in 19 out of 20 uh, <laughs> knife duels because he's quicker than me, he's taller than me, uh, and he kind of gets the best of me in boxing. We used to, for a while we boxed together. He's a stranger to the stick. He doesn't like blunt weapons, but that makes sense because he's a thin guy. Uh, and he's the best pistol user I know. Okay. Um, so he thinks in those contexts. He really, he, ha he pays extra money and has extra certification at various gun ranges to do quick draw firing in his street clothes, which they don't let most people do. And this guy burns through hundreds of dollars of ammo a week. So he's like the highest level pistol shooter I've ever run into. Uh, so he was watching Icy Mike, who was somebody I don't even know anything about, but he said some guy named Icy yeah. Mike was promoting, uh, you know, goggles and uh, plastic knives of some sort and I told him I said there was a phase when we use paper knives so I'm going to show up with some paper knives and they're just made out of you know something like this you find at a supermarket uh, when this young man that I'm with came down and started training with us we had put away the rubber knives and sunglasses and we had because we were stabbing each other in the head and getting knocked out oh yeah okay yeah. so <laughs> that that happens so we went to these paper knives because we worked at a supermarket we'd get off in the morning and keep a roll of tape and a gym bag and then these things would hold up for about an hour a couple of real hard like bruise your ribs stabs or if you stab me in the head while you're doing a lunge i'm on the pavement and you gotta wait for me to wake up Okay, so uh, this was inadequate for practicing doing because we're getting a lot of concussions. Of my 27 concussions, about 20 of them were from doing weapon fighting, even with headgear on. So we moved to stuff like this and this. Now this is one of a pair of light lacrosse gloves that I've used in about 200 machete duels. Actually, the electrical tape I added because I was getting my fingers broken with the dull machetes cutting through this glove. And just the electrical tape made a huge difference. So this thing has survived many machete duels. So what I'll do with the operator tonight, one thing I do is he has an empty hand style. Uh, last year when I was crippled, he helped me down the stairs to the gym. He'd take a chair, he'd put it out on the mat, I would shrimp like a crustacean out to the chair and haul myself up in the chair and I'd watch him do his forms and then we'd add the knife. So what we will do tonight, is he will use this. Oh, He'll use a realistic knife. He will wear goggles. I will wear one of these and I'll be using one of these. And instead of dueling, which would still result in me knocking him out, and me probably separating my lower leg from my upper leg because I've got no muscles left here from an injury I had last year. I can't do anymore, but I can practice 
the put the fencing mask on and practice the walk up carrier oh. thing. And he's <laughs> going to use this and, the, and he's going to have the goggles on for protection so he doesn't lose an eye. And since it's not a dole and it nobody's been stabbed in the side of the head in street encounters, I've examined almost 400 of them. Um, it's just something that only happens when we're doing, okay? And I can't do anymore because of my lower gate injuries. And we did enough of that for him to feel very confident that anybody but me, he's murdering them. Because we had a lot, I, I had done thousands of these things. Oh, yeah. And I've done hundreds with steel. So if I stab him in the guts, this is going to hurt, but I'm not going to crack a rib because that amount of force will cause this thing to, cause this thing to break right, right. Here because it's paper. So you, you have to do some long taping, some spiral taping uh, to get this thing to hold up. And it'll twist a little bit. It, there'll be a little bit of twist in it. And that's good. Uh, that initially helps keep it from bending. And then it'll end up breaking on, uh, at that point where you see it bend, but it's good. It's it's a safety device. I make a pair of these for every workout, maybe, and he can practice his cuts and stabs on me with something that's close to what he carries. And then we, after we're done the scenario, we'll step back. I'll sit down. Sometimes I'll crawl around on the floor, and he will repeat the moves we did with his sharp, with his actual carry weapon. Okay, and this is. The bad thing about this fencing gear is that it's still two inches from your face. Okay, so I can't hit him in the face with this. The, uh, the attack that does come upstairs. Um, this is rape and abduction victims that fight and men who fight back against a knifer and the knifer knows that although they got the knife, this guy can still uh, put up a fight. That's when you see this. Right, so face. basically in the attacks, all you see is this, you know, the prison style oh, stuff, oh, oh. a little bit of reach around mm. stuff. And if the dude is defending it, well, this is punishment. Okay. So I don't have to worry since he's going to have goggles on. Right. Uh, I'm going to make sure I don't clip his teeth. I'm going to go, I'm actually going to go for the goggles. Uh, the problem with the goggles when you go straight on is this thing right here, this will eventually drill a bloody dot oh, between your eyes, I which, had is, that. which has had happened that. to me. Yeah, it's happened to uh, me too. So the other thing you do with these goggles is I'll take the knife and he'll just use his hands and he'll practice doing oh, yeah. finger jabs, rakes, spears. So I can go, I'll have the knife, okay? And I'm coming in and he's practicing yeah. this. Yeah. Okay? So, uh, like I said, you do too much of it, you get a body dot in your forehead. So, for the most part, uh, since it's self-defense, we're going to be using these for a target for a punishment cut from the knifer who's been frustrated with his lower gate attacks. Maybe he, uh, maybe my man's got a jacket and he's... He's defending the lower gate, and the guy's going to come up here. Oh. Only in Doling do you really see the Tony staff come style. up here, Ooh. or a really sick military like house to house yeah. uh, knife thing. Yeah. But <laughs> what he's got to deal with, it's going to be somebody coming up right. like this, and then uh, maybe that. And the other thing is, if he can't get his knife or his gun out on time, the other thing we'll do is we'll take a rubber gun, and he'll practice using a gun that's jammed or he hasn't been able to rack yet because he's been attacked by a knifer and he'll practice using the rubber gun against the fencing mask while, uh, uh, while, he's, the, the, uh, while he's got these goggles on. Uh, so it, it's, there's a lot of different ways you can mix it up. And, you know, uh, hopefully nobody gets hurt tonight. We're both old. You know? Yeah, we're gonna, I'm going to add a little more to this. I just, want, I just need to delete my uh, memory. Hold on. Okay.